Alright guys, Thomas Bird here with another Tabletop Life Battle Report. We got Votan on our minds. We got some sweet, sweet 3D printed Votans, uh, models, squats, dwarves, whatever you want to call them. They are awesome. We got some new Terminators we're going to test out. So look at these cool sculpts. Um, obviously these are not the real models. We wanted to have some actual representation on the table before the units and the, the models come out. So I know personally I want to buy the new hot stuff. I can't wait to get them, paint them up, and use them on the tabletop. But until then, we're going to be using these, and they are fantastic. So today's battle is going to be against Votan and Tyranids. We think Votan has some weakness against mortal wounds. We want to test it out against a heavy mortal wound Tyranid list. Uh, it's a good Tyranid list, so we're going to see what the Votan can do today. I'm going to be playing the Greater Thurian League. So let's go through the list. So we got a battalion. Our main guy is a special character, Uthar the Destined. He's got a lot of special rules, special character. He hands out judgment tokens. The special rules for the Greater Thurian League are they count as five models for ten wound or more vehicles. So the Hecat... Hecat... What are they called? Hecaton Land Fortresses will count as five models. Regular guys will count as double on objectives. They always count as having one more judgment token on a unit, as long as it has at least one. So they don't need as many to count as having all the judgments. And then they get to reroll one hit or wound. So that's their bonuses. So he's the boss. We have a Grimnar. That's this guy. He's going to be the Psyker. He's going to have Interface Echo, which is Command Point Regen, and a Fortify, which is plus one toughness and six of feeling the pain on a unit. Then we're gonna have the Brook here Forge Master. He's got the Master Armor Warlord trait and he's got Volum's Master Artifice. That's a Relic Beamer weapon. We got the 10 Hearth Guard Terminators. They're gonna have the Teleport Crest Volkite Disintegrators and they're gonna be rocking the play, Plasma Blade Gauntlets. And they also have a Relic, uh, the Warp Strike. So that lets them deep strike for free that's a move like race, and it lets them count as 12-inch deep strike guys like infiltrators. So you can't deep strike within 12 inches of them. Pretty neat. On the troops, we have two tens and one twenty. We have magna rails, meta packs, and scanners on all of them. Two magna rails on the big squad, and one unit of bikes. We're gonna have the uh, ignore cover and a multi comms array, and then we're gonna have the rotary cannon, and of course three hecaton land fortresses i go back and forth whether you really need three but we're going to try three in this list i've been trying out the beam league Yamar conglomerate but today we're going to use the magna rails so every tank has magna rails we're keeping them cheap taking the bolt cannon since they don't get the extended range i don't think the beams are going to do as much but that's the list greater thurian league can't wait let's go take a look at the tyranid list and see what we're going to be facing today all right guys it's joe here uh, I'm on the Tyranids today, like I've been on for, for a little while now. Uh, as Thomas alluded to in his, uh, his army overview here, uh, I've got some more wounds to bring to the table. Uh, I think if we're going to beat uh, the Dwarves, uh, I think one of their, their, their big uh, weaknesses is going to be in the Psychic phase and in, in, in Mortal Wounds. Not a lot of ways to deny powers. Got the one Psyker. Um, and then, really, they have a few ways to get Phil No Pains, but... Um, you know, they're, they're, they're six ups in a lot of cases, uh, especially with Thomas's list. He's not bringing uh, the Zerkers. So uh, it should be an interesting game. Uh, this list is actually modeled off of uh, the German WTC list that I thought was really cool and interesting. Um, some really cool Tyranid builds out of the tournament in general, but I think this one was probably the, the coolest one uh, and something that's been kind of, you know, I've been wanting to put on the table for a while. Um, so the list is uh, really simple. It's a, it's a battalion. Uh, I have three HQ choices. All three of those HQ choices are Neurothropes because why would you not? They're 100 points. They, uh, they do good work. Um, so between those, those three Neurothropes, I have one that's really buff-centric. So he's going to have um, Synaptic Tendril so he can give out his 3D6 to cast twice. Uh, he's going to have Onslaught and Catalyst. Uh, so really just being able to kind of buff the whole army. Uh, I have uh, the Neurothipus in the middle here. He's really my sort of objective, um, you know, player. So he's got 
Um, 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 uh, he's got the relic that allows him to get plus one to cast an additional power. His powers are the horror, uh, paroxysm, and then he also has uh, catalyst. So uh, most of the time he's going to be getting, you know, that that have that sweet plus two to cast uh, to do psychic interrogation or warp ritual. Um, and then in sort of like specific use cases, he can cast horror on something that I've mortal wounded and, um, you know, make them fail leadership. Um, so there's a little bit of shenanigans with what he can do. And then I have a purely just murder and violence neurothrope that has neuroparasite and psychic scream, uh, really just kind of direct. And the troop choices, I have two units of gargoyles, super cheap. They're really good for just getting onto an objective. Um, they're kind of in melee. They can be hard to kind of peel away and then they're endless multitudes. So they can just be revived. Um, so gargoyle is super fast, really, really good cheap unit. Uh, and then I have the classic eight man unit of warriors uh, with adrenal glands, flesh hooks. Uh, everybody has dual bone swords. Um, there's two venom cannons and then everybody else has uh, death spitters. Uh, and then I have uh, in the elite slots, uh, I have, or excuse me, this is a fast attack. Um, the Parasite of Mortrex, uh, he has the obsec five warlord trait that lets him advance and do actions, but also count as five uh, and, and gain obsec, which is cool for like mission playing stuff. I've got a lictor, a lone lictor, and then I have the 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 big the big cheese, three units of, of zone throbes, all kitted with different psychic powers, but we know what they're casting. They're gonna cast smite the entire game. Uh, I then have two biovores uh, just for some spore mines, some cool shenanigans that I can do with spore mines. Uh, I've got a maliceptor uh, for you know some more psychic violence. And then last but not least, two harpies with um, the Stranglethorn Cannons, uh, one, the one with the scythe tail that you'll see during the game. Uh, he has the synaptic upgrade so he can get all the, the cool um, imperatives and uh, be transhuman. So um, really cool list. Uh, super excited to put it on the table. Hopefully we can give Thomas a game because he's just been running through everybody with these, uh, the leagues of Brokan uh, dwarves. But we'll, uh, we'll see. Something we gloss over, but I figured it might be worth a mention is... Uh, the terrain we're doing Warzone player place terrain we're doing a slightly modified version that we've been testing which lets you roll and know the side that's pretty standard uh, for for FLG's player optimized but Warzone you don't typically know the side uh, before you place your terrain so we get to know our sides but we still have the freedom to place terrain on any part of the board there's restrictions on how many per table quarter and the spacing but uh, the important part is we know our side and we kind of can build it our own little castle but they can also your opponent can also block and vice versa so this mission we're going to be playing is secure missing artifacts and you can look at the deployment is this diagonal so i think it's important that you when you're doing player place terrain you mark off your deployment zone so you have an idea when you start putting these pieces down where is your terrain i don't know how many times we've just kind of willy-nilly eyeballed it and then you go to set up guys and sure as Sure as, sure as heck, you just like misjudged it just a little bit, and now your guys aren't quite behind a wall, or that train is not quite where you need it to be. So Joe's train is going to be over there. I won the roll for sides. I picked this side. My first deployment piece is going to be right here. I want to try to limit him from uh, getting on that board and having a, a hiding hole. I want him to come out in the open so I can shoot him with all my guns. So we'll come back after the train is down, and then we'll see... Where we deploy? Actually, we'll probably come back after all the deployment's done, and then we'll roll to see what the who's going first and see what the secondaries are. All right, so we are here. I'm going to be your camera operator for the day. We got Mr. Thomas over here on the Votan and Joe over on the Nids. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you kind of where they're deployed. Uh, Thomas is up on the line. He thinks that he is unstoppable, untouchable, the tankiest of the tank. He doesn't care. I don't know what this guy's doing up there. He is just going to plant a flag up there and hang out, I guess. Uh, I think it's cool. It's funny. It's interesting. Uh, Thomas is there, and then Joe's over here. So he's got some gargoyles and some Zoe's over in this corner. And then we've got harpies, Zoe's, Neuro, the big warrior blob, the Malin Scepter, and some gargles here. Uh, we've agreed that like these guys can't really get, this guy can't get shot or anything at all. The warriors obviously can be seen right here, so it's a little risky play, but we're, he's going to see what they can do. 
Um, so going to the secondaries, starting with Thomas's, he did the grudge, so he marked some stuff. Uh, it has to be the warlord, and then um, it, it can be any other unit. But the, the stipulations there are is if they're over 150 points, he gets more for killing them. He gets more victory points for killing them, and then if he kills them in combat... He gets more. He doesn't have a lot of combat stuff right now. Actually, like none besides his character. So, um, the Terminators, I guess the Terminators. Um, but it doesn't really matter because you look at it and you go, hey, if I just kill the stuff, it's 10 points. So, you don't have to really fight to get it in the combat. So, the you things... Lose, you do lose points if they're not. If, if they're alive, you lose points. So, so you, you got to kill them. So, it's risky. You got to kill them at least. You kill them, you get 10. Otherwise... You get less. So, Malin Scepter is marked. Uh, this Zoe is marked. We got these little grudge match tokens here. The Neuro is marked. Both Harpies are marked. So, those are his targets. Then he picked um, the one. I'll show you. Ancestors watching. So, he's going to kill units with judgment tokens per phase. So, in the shooting phase, you get in for the psychic phase. So, psychic, shooting combat he if they have judgment tokens on him depending on how many they have is how many victory points he gets and then he did lay claim we haven't done this one yet uh so what this is is joe took three objective markers he has to place them on the on the board six inches away from his deployment six inches from the board edge nine inches away from each other so he's put them just basically six inches in a line right here to make Thomas have to go as far as possible. Now this is holding them at the end of the game. Is it five points each? Five points each at the end of the game. So that's what he's going to be taking. Then Joe, we've got some that we've seen before. Banners, Warp Ritual and Assassinate. So Banners is he's going to plant a banner on any of the objectives. He could plant it and he is going to get points. Every command point, every command phase that he has it. Assassinate is killing characters. Thomas, you have three characters? Three characters. Do all the little things count as points for that. No. They changed the assassinate now. It's yeah. units. So it's units. It is not models anymore for anybody who, got, who didn't know that or hasn't seen it. So he's got three characters. One's his warlord. So that's 10 points if he kills all of them. And then warp ritual. Uh, that goes 3, 7, 12. Mm -hmm. So six inches of the center of the board. You do a psychic power. It goes off. You get three points. You get seven points. And then you get 12 points. So he's going to max that at 12. So... Joe's got a little bit lower scoring secondaries. Thomas's are a little risky though. So uh, secondaries can go either way on this one. Uh, primary, who knows? Uh, you went over the mission. We moved. Uh, so Joe moved an objective. Uh, Thomas moved an objective first. He moved this one over here. It was behind this piece of terrain. He pulled it out from the terrain. So Joe can't hide. He hold that. It is now in the wide open. Thomas is just going to go sit a tank on it. I can see it. I can smell it. And then Joe came over here. He took Thomas's one of Thomas's objectives, moved it more towards the center, and then he took this one and moved it more this way. So Joe's got this nice little triangle of objective markers right here that are nice and close. So he doesn't have to really go anywhere. He can kind of build a little fire and and make camp. And then this one looks like it moved towards the center as well. So all the objectives came in. Uh, this is gonna be a very in the middle of the board type of game, and most of their objectives. And secondaries revolve around all of those objectives in the middle. So that's that. You guys want to roll and see who's going to go first? All right, Joe gets a two. Thomas gets a one. He rolls the Harlequin dice, which we know no, are famous for our famous for rolling ones. And he chose to roll that one. We talk about it all the time. Oh, no, we say you own the, the, the whole it's joke idiot. there is these Harlequin dice that have a one. Right, they put the the symbol on the sixes. If you don't know this, for almost every dice except the Harlequins, the Harlequins used you used to want ones uh, before in eighth edition. So you'd roll those to get the ones. Uh, he just rolled it and he got a one. Uh, <laughs> so Joe's gonna go first. We're gonna see what he moves, and then we'll be back in the psychic phase because psychic phase matters a lot with his army. All right, here we are at the end of the movement phase for Tyranids. He's in the invon imperative. Uh, so we'll kind of go over here what he's doing. Gargoyles. Came up here. They're planning a banner. He's got five spore mines. We kind of just skipped ahead here. Uh, the biovores shooting. Um, just because he wanted to just preset that up. So technically they haven't happened because it happens in the shooting phase. But he's going to have five right here. He just wanted to make sure that they're going to be positioned where they are. His warriors are coming up. This is from another biovore. He's just got a position where he's going to shoot them. That was 
good. Oh, is that from the Harpies? It's from the Harpies. Okay, so that's from the Harpies. Mm -hmm. And then Gargoyles are coming up here. So he's got a banner going down there. He's got a banner going down here. He's got a banner going down here. And now we're going to go into some Psychic. Who's got the 3D6 to cast? So a lot. Of, I've got four of four three six. To four three d six to cast out there. Um, I can see ones right here. Yeah. So ones on that guy. Ones on the okay. Malon scepter. Ones on the Malon scepter. So basically, almost every guy except this one neuro mm -hmm. has three d six to cast. Okay. So those neuros are going to smite ones right around the corner there okay. to be able to see them. Yep. So this unit, this three man zone throws here. Yeah, you're in range. Uh, I will reroll that. I thought you said you had 3d6 on them. That's on the. Oh, that's on the. That's on. That's on the narrow. That's on the narrow. I'm gonna reroll that. I got confused. All right, here goes. Here goes the. Thomas always denies my stuff. Seven. Okay, so nothing's in range from Thomas. No denies. So, so it's gonna be D3 plus three mortals. Gonna be six mortals to that squad. It's pretty good. And we've got no feel no pins yet. All right, well Thomas decides that. So that's gonna hit this squad right here. He's going to take six mortals on the 20 man. He's going to pull some in the front to hope that he pulls some guys out of range if he tries to do anything else. So he's going to try to narrow Parasite through the Harpy because he's within 12 to hit that same squad. So, three more guys so this is going to go through the synaptic link chain, through the Harpy, into these guys right here. So it goes off. Goes off. Can't Thomas deny can't deny it. Got 14 guys in that squad. Right? 14 left. So now we're going to roll 14 dice and we're looking for fives and sixes do a mortal. That's pretty good, Joe. I like that. That's pretty good. So he's going to grab the 14 dice. While we do that, we've had a lot of requests of getting close-ups of the dwarfs, even though they're not fully done painted. And it drives me crazy that you guys want close-ups of these. Uh, here's the Terminators. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to pick this model up real quick. Uh, so these are a new model that uh, I will have to put his info in the in the chat okay. but that's that yeah roll it i'm just i'm just goofing around whoa spiking them sixes baby well, only be six so it caps at the six. Oh my so god six well <laughs> if it didn't what was it nine or ten there's a lot there's was, there was one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it, it was ten ten fives and sixes out of fourteen Woo, baby so while Thomas says what he's pulling, I'm gonna keep just doing uh, cameraman stuff here. So you've got uh, this leader guy here. Oh, it's not focusing on me. I don't want to touch him because I don't want to misplace him. I will. I'm then gonna go back to this neuro yeah. back here. Roll whatever you need to roll. We're going to onslaught. Onslaught goes. So onslaught. Uh, we are going to catalyst them. Okay. Yes. Uh, catalyst fails. That's really rough because I can't. That's the that. five of feel no pain. Yeah. yeah. So the five of feel no pain fails. What's onslaught? Uh, Give me a reminder. So the advance and shoot. Mm -hmm. And then uh, that is that's it for him. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go with this neuro, and this we're gonna neuro? cast the horror onto the big squad. Okay, the horror. Is that minus leadership or something? It sounds minus like it. Minus two leadership, so yeah. it goes off. He has the resonance bar, so he's, he he gets a plus two, so he casts him in the lead. Okay. Uh, so that, that, Out of that deny range. Off. Well, we saw, if you haven't watched the video where I played against this 20-man brick and there was eight alive at the end of the game, that might not be the case this game. <laughs> I was like, I couldn't kill these things if my life depended on it. Joe's just like, yo, uh, take some mortal wounds. But we did talk about that. We said that the dwarfs are not good into mortals. So we wanted to try mortal heavy stuff in different mortal armies to see how they hold up to it. So it's a very good test to see where their weaknesses are and what can happen. Uh, is that all your psychic? Cool. Proxism. They're minus one to wound, minus two leadership, and they've lost 12 guys. Okay. Can't overwatch either. All right. So we're jumping into the shooting phase. The warriors just shot at the same squad. It killed four guys right now. Now the harpies are shooting. You got small guns here, big guns into the bikes. So three, and they're, these guys are transhuman. Is one C one CP to trans one CP to transhuman? It was two, but two. I had the character to make it reduce the one because that's too big. Okay, so it's two CP to transhuman them because they're too big, but the character reduces it by one, so it's one CP. So they are wounding on fours instead of threes. Four two more. Loses two more. So these are the hits into the bikes. So now four, five. Threes. threes to wound here. 
so five. Five. Minus two, two five minus two, two damage. It's pretty good profile into these bikes, so they're looking five for up five ups. Yeah. A five up in bone three. to the infantry and bikes. Two damage, right? So three wounds each. Oh, three and wounds. then this guy's four wounds. Okay. So you kill a bike and you do two wounds? Kill a bike and two wounds. A bike and two wounds. Okay, so we got well, one harpy left to shoot. Again. 11 shots from the big guns. He's putting everything from the second harpy into the three guys that are left to try to clean them up. And it, you said it's three guys, but one has two wounds. So technically it's four wounds, right? Oh, he took a wound on that guy. So you got three wounds left over there. Uh, four. Four. Five ups. There's two. One left. Uh, so two more. Two more. The transhuman making him take a lot less saves. Five up. Oh, he dies. He dies. He was going to try to use his auto six from his uh, his warlord there to auto pass the other one if he made that. He's got a little cheeky shenanigans, but he died. Successfully takes out the 20-man block in turn one. That is a huge accomplishment in my book because I couldn't do it across five turns. <laughs> so that was very, very good. Um, that does it, Joe? Is that the end? Yeah, I was going to say, I, I exposed the warriors and failed catalysts, which is... Back. Sure, sure. These guys are exposed. They don't have the five up, feel no pain, but taking out the 20 man block, um, it makes Thomas have to think. So let's go into Thomas's turn and we'll go from there. Okay, so we've got a lot going on. So we had to, let's go over the judgment tokens that got handed out. So things that did actions are going to have the ones on them. Uh, so if they did any actions, he picked one, uh, this guy who was on an objective. They did an action with banners. They did an action over there. Then. His warlord's able to say, hey, you, I see you. Take a judgment token. And then he goes, hey, I'm going to spend CP. So you count as two judgment tokens. And then his league makes you count as always having one judgment token. So technically, they've got two. This harpy's got two. The other harpy's got one. They've got one. Almost everybody at least has one, which counts as two. And twos count as three. So a lot going on there. Um, the terminators came down over here. They've got the full hit rerolls. This tank here is plus one to hit. You can see with their little buttons, we, we're trying to mark stuff. He still has his auto six, which he's planning on handing out to one of these tanks uh, to auto explode and it, damage spills over. He's gonna just try to nuke these warriors. And he also has an ignore damage still, which doesn't matter right now. Um, so that's where we're at. Psychics, did they go off? Did you just do them? I've been done. So All right, what do we got? Right here, he's gonna cast, get a command point back on a five. I get plus, no, yeah. So it goes up. We're out of deny range. He measured all of that, so we don't have to worry about any denies. Cast fortify on these guys. So That's fortify is plus one, one toughness and a six, six up feel no pain. pain. Um, five. five. It goes off by six. It doesn't go off. It does not go off. How important is that? Uh, he's going to smite him. I don't want him to take it. I'm going to CP it. Okay, so he's going to CP it. He's looking for a six here. He gets it with a six. A six. So they will have fortify. There's another little handy marker for us. So we know what's going on. No, we are guy with the relic beamer. That's okay. Two guys. So the two harpies. Yeah. So the two harpies there are going to get beamed by uh, the, the 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 tech marine. I don't know what his actual uh, name is. All right. So we're beaming it. The farther one, which means it will explode into the closer one. Yeah. I get one free reroll. So uh, you're hitting eight. on twos, but you're minus one, so hitting on threes. Yeah. Uh, fives are going to do mortals. So this is going to do three mortal wounds. This and it auto hit. And I get one free reroll. Six mortal wounds and a hit. What gives the mortals? Because it's a judgment token. It counts as an auto six to wound. Okay. His tech marine ability says if you roll sixes to auto wound, his gun is three does mortals. mortals based on how much damage his gun is. Is it mortals plus damage or just mortals? Just mortals. So the okay, so so to recap what's going on here, use this reroll. These auto wound because he has two judgment tokens on him. He has one on him but counts as two. When they auto wound, they count as six as to wound. His relic changes the damage, which are flat three damage into three mortals. So that's six mortals. Plus one hit. Now you got to roll that to wound. But, but the, the mortals are only going on the one that you target. Correct. Just... Doesn't wound. And then do those explode or does anything go into the other guy? Now I do. I roll three hits, so this guy's going to take three hits. Yep, so now you got the three hits on the other guy, Six the closer one. Six would do mortals here. 
so no nothing. No wounds. So the close guy takes nothing. The back guy, right there, takes six. Pretty good with the mortals. A nice little pick. All right, what do we got next? You're gonna shoot. So railgun into the Zoe's. All the the bolters. We don't know what the name of their gun is yet. So we're just calling them bolters because they're the same profile as bolters. Uh, go into there. All right, here's a railgun. I need a three to hit. So railgun, looking for threes. Hits with a six, so it will auto wound because they have two judgment tokens on them. It counts as, it counts as one, right? So they have to have a token, so it doesn't count as anything. It just so counts it as auto wound. Okay, so they only count if they have a token. It have. is only more. So now I need to wound you. This tough strength nine. I need a three to four to wound you. Four, three, yep. it, wounds. it wounds. Okay. So no damage, spill over, anything like that. So it just kills one. Okay. So it's just it'll be two d three or is it three plus d. Okay, so it just kills. So ignores invuln. Three plus D3 just kills a guy. He pulls a guy that was in line of sight of possibly the tank, which is a good play. Um, and now we've got nine shots. Nine are they, times two, so 18. Nine times two, 18. Are they assault weapons? What are They're they? Hunter two. Hunter two. So just Drink four, AP one, ignore cover. It's on three, three rolling ones for the call. That's a lot of twos. No uh, ones, not a single one. Uh, you had some auto wounds in there. Oh, I did because of... Yep. Tokens. Oh, well. I can totally pause this and go look back at it, but I'm not Doesn't going matter. to. <laughs> so what we got? Seven? Seven. Tank here. That's got a B line of sight right here. And to him, he's not being screened. Joe just realized that this warrior should have been a little bit further there. So he's going to put the rail cannon there, and then he's going to put All the right. auto cannon and the other gun there. I don't know what they are. Here's the rail Bunch cannon. of the other shots. Rail cannon. It hits. It hits. Doesn't wound. It I'm gonna does spend not my, wound. My ability to reroll one hit or one wound. So it's his ability. He rerolls it. He gets a one. So the character will live to fight another day. So he, he he was gonna basically say he should have just given him the auto six thought, to thought, make sure that it goes through and just nuked the, the guy, the, uh, but he didn't. It's the invuln that can't be extended, right? So then right. auto cannon is how many shots? Uh, it's six shots with the auto cannon. Six shots with the auto cannon. Into the warriors. Freeze, how, much, how much damage is it? These are two damage. So I'm going to minus one damage. So Joe's going to minus one damage. Because these are two damage each. We've got three AP2s. Three AP2s. So five ups. What you got, Joe? Oh, you know what? I have, I have five ups. Here. So one warrior dies. One takes two damage from that tank. Dang, I should have used that. <laughs> well, now you can do it on the other tank. Well, I, they can't see anything that matters, right? Yeah. I, I was yeah. thinking it was this guy. Yeah, so Thomas just, just forgot what guy was what guy and uh, didn't realize he could have handed out the six on this to just nuke that character. So, you know, we're still learning. Got to get the, the vibes and the flow down and everything. So so you got the tank that's hitting on twos. You got the other tank. You got the bikes. All right, so we've got the tank that is a plus one to hit. You going into the wounded one or the full one? Going into the full one. So the full one, the one that's closest to him with the... All the guns but the railgun. The railgun is going into here. Right. And we know what he's going to do with the railgun. Oh, he's going to roll it. He's just going to auto-six it. I just have to roll a four on the hit, so not necessarily. Okay. So Wait, he's... can you do it? Do you have to do it after I, I see it? Oh, so it's after, after he see sees it, it, he can make it a six. Oh, okay. So he's looking for a four up here, and he's going to make it a six if he needs to. I need to. So he needs to. Okay. Burns it. It is six plus 2d3. Six plus 2d3. So it takes 10 damage. So 10 damage and it spills over. So this is where Joe wishes he had his five up feel no pain because that just killed four warriors, which really, really sucks. Should have sequenced once I phased it. So this is the auto cannons into the harpy. This is auto wounding. Do you get one re do you get one hit reroll per squad? Is that what this league does as well? Okay. So three um three four ups. Three four ups. What I should have did because I hit was roll the wound. He makes two of them. Yeah, these are the smaller guns, the strength six guns. Um, we need, I need to figure out what these things are called. Four more saves, that is four up in bones. Four ups here. Fails three. All right, so if that puts one harpy down to four, what's the back harpy have on them? So four and seven. Bolt cannons? All right, so those are the bolt cannons. It's like, what, four of those on, that, on it or something? How many wounds are looking? Okay, so this is uh, the bike shooting at the wounded harpy that he's going to be auto wounding on fours. Shotguns hit. He's got four wounds left. Take four, four auto, auto wounds. 
These are AP1, two damage hits. AP1, two damage. They roll ones because of the Carl. Auto wounds. The fours to auto wound are pretty nuts. We were just talking about that off camera. Here are the Gatling guns. These are, these are Gatlins. Strength. All right, so these are shotguns. AP nothing. AP four nothing. Hits. Four AP nothings. Takes two. Down to two. Four AP ones. Four two AP damage. ones, two damage. Dead. It's dead. Does it blow up? Does it blow up? No. All right. Harpy, one, down. The auto-wounding on fours, especially when it's against a flyer, which the high toughness is very, very good. That's all of your shooting. Nope, I still have one more tank. You got one more tank. Because now I can't shoot warriors. I pulled the, I shot the So, so yeah, first. so let's shoot this. So we were talking about this uh, off camera. Joe uh, was able to pull warriors. These three couldn't be seen by anything else that could be shot. So we just left those ones there um, to hopefully save some of his warriors. Uh, so he has a little bit more punch and threat going into the next turn. So now you're going into the other harpy. I'm spending a reroll. Auto wounding on fives and full rerolls. Yeah. So let's use. The... Is it hits or hits and wounds? Just hits. Just hits. Here's okay. the big gun. Big gun. Auto wounds. wounds. Yeah. So that just that just goes bye bye. Okay. Harpy number two exploded. So well, we thought we were done shooting, and then we realized there's this block of Terminators over in the backfield here. So even though he pulled these, whoops, the Terminators are there, so it doesn't matter. Um, Terminators are doing grenade launchers here, and then they're doing their other guns here. He's looking for mortals to just uh, finish them. They're three wounds each, correct? So he needs six mortals, four wounds, four wounds each. So I need eight mortals. I got 30 shots. And mortals don't cap at all? They don't. Mortals six do not hit. cap. This is 20, so I need another 10. Six is the hit, and he has full reroll. So anything that's not a six, he's just going to be rerolling. That's how you do this. So there's three mortals, four mortals, and he's going to pick them all up because this is the easiest way to kill these guys. So that's one dead. He needs four more sixes here, and he gets the squad. Only two sixes out of that. Okay. It's a lot of misses, unfortunately. It is. They might live. Yeah. Um, one more. You got one more. Strength five, so four is the wound. Four is the wound. So that's one save. Really four, but... So it lives no matter what. You got one save, Joe. He makes down to, down to a wound. Yeah. There's the there's the rest. So yeah, there you go. Mortals and both. So low. <laughs> I didn't roll that bad. You just had no conversion either on that one. So then grenade launchers, which are what, D six shots each? D six shots, eight to two. Forty shots. 40 shots. So he's got 40 shots. He's auto wounding on fours. So he's just going to look for fours and he's going to reel anything that's not this fours. Is 20, again. I, I got to roll this a second time. Looking for fours. This is half of them. Auto wound. Reroll everything that's not a four because otherwise he's going to be wounding on five. So he's a better chance right here to reroll everything. And then hitting on not those. So two, four, six. It's 13 so far. All right. Now just do that again and yeah. see how many wounds you have. So 13 hits so far. 13 wounds so far. This is uh, pretty gross. We haven't seen. So this is the first time. This is the first time that we've seen it. That we've seen one this, hit, right? No. Um, so uh, I gotta re -roll, one re -roll. I'm going to say right now that when you have the full judgment tokens on you and these rerolls, this is crazy. The other t couple games where you didn't have the full judgment tokens, I don't think they were even close to as scary. This is bonkers crazy. 17. Extra. 17 minus what was the original one? 13. 13. So, so 30. 30 wounds, so 30 wounds out of the 40 shots that you had. Holy bananas! What's the AP? AP 1. AP 1. So you got your 4 up in bones? No, he's got 5 ups. 5 ups. It's AP 1. Yeah, Joe really needed his five up heal pain to uh, to happen they, here. I still don't think they survive, though. That's a, that's yeah, a I mean maybe, like maybe. So is that all the shooting then? That's all the shooting. So now I need a, a charge. Um, let's just this guy. I know he'll probably live through that. All right, looking for nines. <laughs> he gets a nine. Oh my god! <laughs> all right, let's see. We'll let him move this. All right, the Terminators. Fought in combat. They did like 12 wounds. He only failed one. 
Um, so mute point there. Um, that's what happens when you have a three up invuln. So then we go and we look over at the score at the end of this. Um, they both got their priority target. They got three on that. Joe's going to be picking up eight on primary going into the next turn. Three on banners going into the next turn. And then Thomas is finishing up that turn. He got four for grudge match. He killed the two harpies. And the biggest thing that he had had two judgment tokens on it for ancestors watching. So he's got two points on that. Uh, on to Joe's two. All right, he's staying over here. This is Joe's top of two. The gargoyles, he's uh, got these guys here. He's within 18 of these terminators. This neuro fell back from the terminators there. Um, nothing is pushing up. Nobody's in the center to do warp ritual. These guys are all back here to smite these terminators. Um, he's just going to basically go for killing the Terminators this turn. Um, interesting play. We'll see how it works out for him. Uh, all right, Joe, what's your first Psychic that you got? Oh, the bombs. The Spore, the spore Mines killed four, ter four and a half Terminators. And then over here they killed six, six, six of these guys. Mm -hmm. So that's, uh, that's really good. The Mortals are destroying this army. Um, Thomas just had a really good turn one of shooting, so let's see what the mortals do this turn. Cool. So let's go with the Malice Scepter first. All right, so we're going to start with the Malice Scepter. Came talk, Malice Scepter. Smiting. Kills a guy, carries over to the next guy. What else does um, he have? And then he's got Psychic Scream. Which yeah! Three. Screaming! Uh, D3. One, two, one mortal. Narrow Parasite. Is that targeted? Yep, so it goes off. It's within 18. So it goes off on uh, 10. Okay. Ooh, two mortals. Two mortals. Six up. Okay, so he's going to kill that guy, take a wound on the Sarge. We're going to spend one to... So spending a CP, now he's going to do the horror. Goes off, so they are minus two leadership and minus one to combat attrition tests. Minus two leadership, minus one combat, and also can't shoot overwatch, correct? You're good. So they're smiting. Goes off with goes a gazillion. Off. It's a super. Um, so it's D6 plus three. So six. six. Kills three guys. The next squad's gonna do the same thing. Goes, Goes off, off super smite. Back. Kills them. Okay, picks up the terminators. Four spore mines. Let's see where they where Joe's gonna choose to put them. Alright, so no shooting or anything. We saw a psychic face. He charged in here with the parasite, his swing to poison them. Missed. He killed the Sarge, the medic ate one of the wounds. Uh then he took what, three wounds? Two wounds back. Two wounds back. Uh, over here, they failed morale. Another guy ran He's down to one guy here out of the 10 man. He's just going to grow back D3 guys there probably. Um, so that's a little unfortunate. Um, and he's growing some gargoyles back. And then the parasite, uh, the spore mines went over there from the, uh, biovores. Um, Joe does not get anything on War Ritual or Assassinate yet. Um, Thomas is going into his turn. He's going to pick up eight on the primary. All right, so this tank moved up here. One, the one guy that was alive jumped into that tank. He's going to be able to shoot at the character or the gargoyles. Um, and then the bikes are positioned there to shoot at the gargoyles. This tank is moving up. He handed out a judgment token onto him. Everything else moved up around the corner there. Characters are just lone rangers back here by themselves, um, which is fine. He doesn't really have anything that can jump over here and just nuke them right now. Uh, so that's that. What do you got for Psychic? Uh, let's go ahead and cast Fortify on the bikes. Fortify on the bikes. Minus one to cast. Um, yep. Nope. Fail. And then we're going to cast... CP. Uh, yeah, CP. It's off on a five. On a five, you can deny it. Plus one to he denies it easy peasy with an 11. Could have just stayed back. I think I want him to. All right, so this tank advanced. We were seeing if the movement was going to be enough to get shots down here. It was not, so we just advanced here, and they auto advance when they advance. What, six? Um, so it goes to 16 inches. Uh, these guys are going to shoot down there. All right, so we got these two bikes shooting down at the gargoyles. They've got two dread tokens on them, which counts as three, so it's going to be auto wounding on fours. Only one bike can see. But it is the Gatling Cannon one. So this it is, is. The auto cannons with the full rerolls. This is a hit. Strength seven. So have four AP two, AP ones. This four is dead. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. And then nine shots from the rotary cannon. So you have wounds six more times? Yeah, I did. Nine wounds. <laughs> nine wounds. Auto wounding on fours is uh, something else. So now you got this tank. I'm assuming it's all going into the... You got a six to wound. How many wounds does he have? Six, he's dead. Yes, he six. Uh, is he dead? Oh, it's six, six plus, two plus two D3. D3. All right. Is that all shooting? Uh, we got this, we got tank. this tank here. Going to shoot everything at... Okay, Always. everything at the lictor. And then the one big gun at the, at the big guy. Okay, so everything but the rail into the lictor, big rail into the Malinceptor. How many wounds does the Malinceptor have? Fifteen. Fifteen? I'm going to spend one CP so that I could get four rerolls against guys with tokens on them. So that's just going to be the okay. lictor. So he's going to be plus one to hit against the Malinceptor, but that's going to be negated against the lictor because the lictor is minus one to hit. So, But he has full rerolls on him. So who are you doing first, the Let's lictor? The lictor. Okay, so we're going to do the Lictor. So looking for threes here with full rerolls. This is the auto, auto wounding on fives. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah, I'll reroll. Fives. Auto wounds. These hit. Strength seven. Five, two damage hits that are AP two. And then uh, bolt cannons. Auto wounding on fives. Oops, I think that was a miss. And uh, three. I'm not going to use that. So we have three, two damage. Three, and two, five, damage, two damage, and so five, two eight, damage. Eight, two damage hits. These are five up. Uh, so he takes a six of this guy. He dies. And then the big cannon. Yes, let's see what the big one does. The rail. Hitting on twos. Meow, 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 meow. Moons. Strength 14. Strength 14. Fours. I'm going to use my free reroll. Yep. Wounds. AP4, so six up. Did you have a two up save? He's a four up in wound. Uh, Ignore him. So it's a three up, so it's a six. So or it goes, it goes So how much damage? Six plus two D3 damage. Five plus six, 11 wounds. 11 wounds, down to four. Oh, my Lancer, these rail guns might be broken. Don't use that broken word around here. So this guy's going to charge here because he's trying to get some more grudge points in combat. Rolls a seven. Seven. He makes it. He's going to make it. Do you know what this guy does in combat? No. <laughs> All right, we're going to go look. And then I'm going to roll or two more rolls. So I'm going to roll one at a time because if I don't roll a six, I'll just use my six and kill. Okay. Yep. So hitting on threes. Hitting on threes because he's minus, cause no he's minus one right here. Six is two mortals. There's the mortals. Does two mortals kill. Okay, so does two mortals, so nothing else matters. Picks him up. All right, Malin's after came up here. He's going to go for this. He just super smited. It's, what is it? It's going to be flat three. Flat plus three plus D6. Plus D6, yeah. So what is it? Six mortals. Yep. Okay. It the up? spore mines over here ended up doing six mortals as well as this tank, I believe, right? Six. Mm -hmm. um, he did four. Four mortals over there. Uh, and then, yeah, gargoyles are here. He's just kind of poking out. He's going to see how much Screen stuff he guy. can do. Goes off. On a nine? On a ten. I can block it. Yep. He's going to try to block it. Uh, no. Nope. Goes it's off. Be flat three plus D3 again, so five, five more three. mortals. Five moves. He was at nine, right? He was at ten, right? You did six? Six. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I thought I, thought I saw the nine. My bad. Um, we're going to smite with the black squad into this guy in the middle. Okay, so he's smiting from the Zoe's into this tank here. It's a super smite. I'll perils, but super smite. Uh, seven. And then... What do you take for perils? Uh, three. Three. Um, one guy's down to one. You did one of them, yes. Now you got Now you got the other Zoe. So the other Zoe super smites on a, on a 12. But nine goes down to four. So he has four left. He has five left. Whoa, Skedios, can we get him? All right, right here. Charging, Malin Scepter. Into tank, man. Bow, bow, bow. Overwatch being done. We're just fishing for sixes. Big gun. Oh, oh my no. God. I need to lose you, though. I need, you know, oh, no. I need a four to wound you, but I do have a reroll. I do use my 
special reroll of four to kill him. Got him. Oh, Dies. my gosh. Six plus two D three. He only has seven wounds. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, he blows so up. Three wounds. Three down to two. So that just happened. He goes down to two. This tanks on two. Uh, that's a sad panda. Very close to both of these tanks going down. Uh, this guy should have had his head stuck out. If Smite would have gone off and he got two, he could have picked up that tank. Um, super unfortunate there. All right, so he moved. These guys came out. He grew guy back. Those guys are there. Uh, he took six mortals from the spore mines over here because he moved. That happened. <laughs> unfortunate. Um, yeah. What do you uh, cast him? Uh, we're going to cast get a command point back. There's nobody blocking this time on a five. Oh. Does not go off. He has one they CP. Me, right? so you he needed a five. He's going to CP it. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> He's not CP. CP for a CP? Uh, we Let's will see if you first. <laughs> the uh, fortify on those guys. All right, he's going to try for fortify. Seven goes off on a seven. I don't think I These guys are going to have fortify. Where so they're T5. Yeah, no. T5, six up, feel no pain right there. All right. So he's not going to be able to shoot too much down here this turn. So we'll see what happens there. All right, what are you shooting? These guys over here. So because this guy here, the call, charged the parasite, he couldn't see anything. He was basically blocked by a building. So he could the only thing he could see was these guys, right? So you could see them. He's the only thing that he could mark tokens. He really wanted to mark other things. Um, but that's all he could mark. Um, so yeah. He's auto wounding them on fours. I think the gargoyles are dead. Wanna pick them up? Two on him. Railgun. Misses. Free reroll. Re Misses. One into a one, baby. The railgun almost nuked another character. Takes one damage. That's all that can see that guy, so he lives to fight another day. All right, so we're wrapping this one up. Uh, Joe is just getting pushed off of everything pretty hard, and Thomas was all the way in his zone. Uh, so this is kind of how the game ended up. Uh, 78 to 30. Joe just couldn't do anything on the secondaries. He picked ones where he really had to be able to push Thomas, and Thomas was just deleting everything that he was throwing at him. So he wasn't able to really dig out of that hole. Uh, Thomas' secondaries came in pretty good. Uh, the problem that Thomas ran into is he wasn't getting as many tokens as he wanted to, even with a list that was built to put tokens out there. So that, that affects his secondaries. He starts to struggle some. Um, and then the grudge match, he doesn't really have anything that he can kill them in combat, so he doesn't get the extra, but he was able to kill them all. So we kind of said, like, that should be 10 points if you're, you know, killing everything on the board. Uh, lay claim, he just pushed up, pushed up, pushed up at the end of the game, got his points there. So the Ancestors watching is probably pretty risky. I don't know that that's, like, an auto go-to. Maybe if you have a balance list that has a lot of shooting and combat and you can, you can get a lot of tokens out, but he played a token-heavy list. The stuff that has tokens gets deleted, that's straight up the railguns versus the beams. The railguns, if they hit and if they wound, the thing dies. It goes bye-bye. It's devastating. The beam has different uses. Maybe you should take some of each. I don't know. Um, but we've kind of seen both in action. I think that the odd I think the auto wounding and the tokens makes this army very, very strong, and it's way stronger than the invuln. I also think that the railguns just straight up did more work than the beams from what we saw. So we'll just keep testing this stuff. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, do all the fun things, and we'll see you on the next one.